Alright, this is a little tutorial on this block right here, which is an architect table. It's pretty easy to make. If you're in a pack that doesn't change the recipes, this is what you need. The only difficult part about it is getting the diamonds for the diamond gears. And then to make it work, you will need at least four markers, which are made like this. They're called landmarks. And then a blueprint, which I forgot the extra piece of lapis. Okay, eight pieces of paper around a piece of lapis, and that gives you your blueprint. Now you go find the area that you want to save. So, like, say I wanted to save this building here. And I knew I was going to have somebody want to bug me. We're doing a tutorial. Go away. We can talk later. Now, if I wanted to save this building here, I would put one landmark there. <clears throat> and then one landmark there. That would get everything within those landmarks. And then I would need to cut this back here to get to the very bottom corner at that corner right there which would be this block right here and then if I smack that, that will draw the beam to this one. That will draw the beam to that one. And then this one should go ahead and complete. All right, why is that not completing around? Now, there is one more we do need to put. And that is the height marker. So we need to go to above everything else and put one right here. And that should take care of that part. Still don't, not sure why it's not drawing the full because you only need the X, Y, and the Z. You don't need four on the ground. There we go. So now we have a full square encasing our building here. And then we will take, get rid of the rowdy neighbors. We will put this block here. And we will take the architect table and sit it right there. And then that will put, change our line to blue and black. See, it's all surrounded there. So that'll fully encompass our building. And as long as... Now, see, this here is one block above, so I didn't put my height quite high enough. 
So if I was actually going to save this, I would have to go back up there, put all my landmarks back down. I always choose to put the architect table right here in the left corner. That way, when I go to actually build it with the builder, I can put my architect table right here, and I'll know that, or I can put my builder right here, and I know that that'll be the position that this is. If I wanted the building turned, I could go here and put it. So whichever orientation it is, is whatever orientation the building will be in. And that is the basic tutorial for this building. The only other thing is once it's ready, you can put your blueprint in here and it will write your building on the blueprint for you. And then it will actually save in your Minecraft folder for that mod pack in a folder called blueprints and you can then share that with other worlds or other people via the internet the to get one that you've already done and saved or moved you can use your Library, which will read what are in, what is in there. These are the three that I currently have in here. You select the one you want. You put your thing there, and it will write it. So, if anybody wants to send me blueprints, that's the way you build them. If you're interested in how to actually build the building the first few minutes of my windmill building will show how I set this one up and used it to build the windmill with the builder so if you need its own separate tutorial just let me know and I'll be glad to do it or any other tutorial for any of the other mods I use or machines that I use let me know thanks for watching have a great day in Minecraft